Hi guys, welcome to Chosen Explosions and Time Prophetic Revelations. My name is Evelyn Brooks. Well, guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. Actually, um, toward the end of August, uh, maybe it's been that long. It's been a little while. It just seems like uh, after the burn and after our 40-day fast, um, it just seems like all of hell kind of just come against us. And we've just been through a lot of trials and tribulations Um David's wagoners flared up. Most of you guys know that my husband has an autoimmune disease. And uh, and it was in remission. And uh, things uh, went well for quite some time. You know, there for a while, for uh, a year or a year and a half, uh, he was in the hospital constantly with pneumonias. Well, we got through all that, passed all that. And, uh, and he was doing so much better. And then the wagoners flared. And, uh, and he has been um, in and out of the hospital since then and we're having to make a lot more trips now um, to Durham, North Carolina uh, to the hospital there. Uh, that's where all of David's doctors are and uh, that's like a three and a half hour drive from where we are and um, I've had to have some surgery myself and it seems like it's just been one thing after another. So we've been through some trials and tribulations just like everybody else. You know I don't want to try to hide that from you um, we're normal and we go through things just like everybody else does. Just because we're born again don't mean that we don't um, uh, have uh, difficulties. We don't have things in our lives that we have to go through. But the difference between us and the world is that we have Jesus Christ. And uh, He is our strength and He is our joy. He's our peace. He's our everything, guys. And, uh, and He has been with us so mightily. And so strongly but I'm happy to be back with you today actually the word that I'm sharing right now is called coming to my secret place to find joy and rest and actually guys the Lord gave me this on August the 31st and um, and um, yesterday as I sat down to prepare uh, because the Lord uh, has been giving me um, quite a few words that I want to share but as I sat down to go over things, um, the Lord has just been really speaking to me about joy. And I had actually planned to speak about joy uh, this past Friday night um, in our um, our normal Friday night service. But um, David had gotten sick and was in the hospital. And then uh, Chris and Latoya, they both got sick uh, right um, Thursday, Friday. They started getting sick. And uh, come Friday evening, we just made the choice that we just were not going to have service that night. And uh, so I'm planning on speaking on this, um, speaking on joy, the joy of the Lord. It is a fruit of the Spirit. And I've been speaking uh, about all of the fruit of the Spirit. And uh, and I was going to speak on joy, um, this, like I say, last Friday night, but, but now this coming Friday night. And uh, as I sat down going over the things that the Lord has said, you know, to decide what... Um, you know, to pray and talk to him about it and what he wanted me to share with you guys. Um, uh, this one jumped out at me. Uh, and uh, guys, listen, joy is so important. Um, the, especially during these times. Especially um, as there's so much darkness in the world. And as uh, so many people truly are. Guys, I hear from people a lot as people are going through so much, so many hard times. Uh, peace coming from our peace coming from God and joy coming from the Lord uh, the, you know he's on the inside of us joy is a fruit of the spirit and he wants us to uh, to have joy to receive that joy because it is the strength it gives us strength guys to help us through the things that's coming against us and the difficulties in our life it really will help us if we will turn to the turn to the Lord and draw strength from Him, draw peace and rest and joy from Him during the times of tribulations in our lives. Uh, I want to go ahead and read this word. It says, My children, you are the very delight of my heart. Do you not know that I want your joy to be full? There is joy in my presence. Come into my presence. My joy is like a river that will flood your soul. In my presence, my love will embrace you. My love is pure, undefiled, complete, lacking in nothing, perfect in every way. So true. In this world, there are many troubles, many tribulations, but it is my will 
that I be your constant source of joy. Trust in my love and goodness and your joy will be full. Is there anything I cannot do? Take your rest in me. Am I not with you in every storm guiding you through them? Can you trust me in the storm? I am there, precious ones, come into the secret place with me. There I will give you vision to see above the storm. Come into the secret place. I desire your full attention. Come into the secret place. There you will be made strong. Come into the secret place. Your joy will be made full. I am your place of safety. I am your place of rest. I am the answers that you seek. I am. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are the you are the great I am. Lord, we thank you, God, that you love us so much. And Lord, that you want us, God, Lord, to rise above our circumstances, God, and not to be tossed here and there, thrown all around and all about and given in, Lord God, to distress and depression. Lord, in turmoil and anxiety and fear, Lord, you want us to, to be firm and to be strong. And no matter what happens and no matter what comes against us, Lord, you are the solid rock that we stand upon. And Jesus, we thank you that you are our rock and we take our place in you. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you never stop loving us. Lord, that your grace and your mercy is beyond our comprehension. That, Lord, even when we make mistakes, you don't love us. I mean, you don't stop loving us. Lord, you love us no matter what. And, Lord, your love is constant, Lord. Whether we're on the mountaintop or whether we're in the valley, Lord, your love is constant. And your joy and your peace is constant. And, Lord, we thank you for the secret place. Lord, we thank you. That is our heritage. That is our inheritance, God. That we can come into your presence and we can receive peace, and we can receive rest, and we can receive joy, no matter what's going on in our lives, no matter what is going on in the world. And we praise you for that, Lord. You're such a good God. There's no one like you. We love you, love you, love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, guys. That's the truth. No matter what's going on in our lives, we can go into the secret place. We can... We can, uh, we can just not let the devil, Jerry Savelle says that, not, don't let the devil steal your joy. Amen. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Uh, steal away when, when it seems like nothing's going right and everything's coming against you. Steal away and spend time in the presence of Almighty and tap into His joy and it will fill you up and it will, it will overflow and you will receive great strength, and you will receive rest. Amen. That is our heritage. That is our inheritance, that we can go into the presence of God Almighty. He loves us, and he's calling us into the secret place of the Most High to spend that one-on-one -on -one intimate time with him, just receiving his heart, receiving his mind, and tapping in, tapping into that peace and that joy that only comes from Him, no matter what's going on in our lives. Well, guys, I love you, and uh, I pray for you daily, and I'm going to keep on praying for you, and I'll talk to you again really soon. You guys have a blessed, blessed day and a blessed week, and I'll talk to you again really soon. Bye-bye.